Hello everyone! Um, I forgot to start my timer. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Shining Pearl. In the last episode, we started doing some Gym Leader rematches, but... Oh ho ho! She's a bit enthusiastic that we come and kick her ass for a second time. We meet again! You beat the champion and enjoyed the Hall of Fame, that is what I heard. At last before, De Pluebo. Uh, is that how you pronounce it? I don't know French. She, she wants revenge. <laughs> Okay, in this episode, we're probably going to take on, um, depending on how long these bastards take to beat, Fantina and the next one. So this should be fun. These gym leaders are really tough. But, um, I did a bit of, uh, money grinding, so I got a lot more, uh, healing items. So, things should be a lot better. Um. Here's hoping. And I just realized I forgot to take off the amulet coin, but that actually might... I hate this move. It takes my my attack and just... Oh, okay. Okay, we have, we have issues. You have guts. Well, not like I'm going to go ahead and physical you now. I'm just going to shoot these ice beams. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Okay, well... This isn't going well already. We just started, and already we're about to get beaten. I definitely could have, like, went for another one. What is this Drifblum on? Like, what sort of drugs is this guy taking? This guy has guts. There's no other reason they would have this flame orb if it didn't have guts. Oh, lord. Okay. Maybe we can at least make some progress in this fight, actually. That's fine. Wait a minute, you're gonna heal. Ah. Nearly full heal. Oh my god. Why does that heal so much? Die from the burn. Oh, thank you. At least you don't have Levitate. Oh, maybe I can get the flinch off. But I doubt. Oh. Okay, well I can at least go ahead and try doing another one. Yep! <laughs> never flinches. I always get flinched by never flinch people. Don't. Don't do it. Of course you do it. You always do it. Hello? Oh my god damn. Bam, bam. Great. I'll leave Stormio if that's what it takes. Priority. Don't do it for a second time. You're gonna do this. Always happens. Oh, man, I'm getting fucking. I'm getting hacked.
I'm getting fucking hacks right now, my guys. It's a nuisance. It's so annoying. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ in a basket stick. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, this one shouldn't be too hard. Of course the plow has to come. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, that that's that's the fucking guy that like that like plows the roads. Like the driveway, my apartment. My landlord's brother. It's literally a Get the burn. Get the burn. Get the burn. Nope. Okay. Well, regardless. Uh, you know, ever since last year when I lost when I like lost my car, I for I went in I went I basically went like an ent almost an entire year without driving my own car. Okay, back to the story time. I said this like a long time ago, like like two years ago. I took my car up to the uh, mechanic because some do with the. Um... Honestly, I can't really remember why. It was something to do with my muffler or something. And the mechanic uh, called back and said that um, um, that my car is basically um, on its way out. And the thing is, I just got that car like the last year, and it was in such good condition too. Okay, so so basically, what happened was that the struts strut towers were just completely rusted to all hell. And, um, okay, look through that, uh, that's fine. So my strut towers were busted to hell, and some about the, um, or, I don't know, some about manifold, and some about other, uh, there's another thing wrong with it, um, he said that, like, the whole thing would cost, like, a thousand bucks, so I was, so he was saying, um, it'd be better if I just took the money and just put it to get another car. And I would only have a few months left with it, so I limited my driving. And then when I, and then when COVID hit, um, and I moved back, um, I went. It, it went to the point where I like didn't drive that much. That like the tires were locking up. And uh, I hate I hate trying to tell a story when I'm like trying to like focus. Oh, that's cool. So then, like in July of 2020, like basically ne like near the end of that month, um, my car started like acting up. I brought it to the mechanic, and he said that my car is just fucked; it's just gone. So I brought it back and went through the process of getting it off my insurance. And now it's just like being scrapped. It, it's a shame. It was a really nice car. Rest in peace, my 2005 uh, Toyota Matrix. My first car. And it was such a fucking good car too. Of course! Of course you have to one shot. It was such a good car. I... That makes sense. It was such a good car. And then I like basically went through a year trying to look for a car. There was actually like... Two, like three vehicles that I had in mind of getting. One guy, um, we were like messaging back and forth. It was like a um, a Kia Kia Forte, and what are you gonna say now, bitch? No, he doesn't want to anymore. Oh, okay. Well, I'm 
gonna I'm gonna heal because you're dead. Uh, he had, I was like in the middle of talking to him, and then he stopped replying for like a couple days. And then I found out that he sold a car when I was like dead set on buying it for like 3500 And I'm just like, bruh, you could at least have the courtesy to tell me you were talking to someone else instead of like getting my hopes up. And then my dad found this like one Chevy Cruze, but um, he got the person to take it up. And he didn't even tell me about this until like the day it happened. And he said that um, there was like problems with the car, so he ended up just saying rip to that. <laughs> and then there was this like, um, there was this like 2015 uh, Kia Rito. It was like five grand. It was it, it was five grand. It it was pretty much perfect. It was also it was red too. And it looked pretty nice, so I messaged this lady, and she didn't message back, so I messaged her again, and then, like, it was off the, uh, thing, so I'm just like, well, I guess I ain't getting that car. Oh, I have another story, too. Shit. There was this, um, there was another car, um, my, my dad actually found it for me, because me and my dad were looking for, um, for a new car for me. So, what happened is that, um, okay... Okay, the street where I live in is the same- is, there's like another street of the same name all the way in fucking St. John's. And I live like a good fucking like day's drive away. Thank you, I win. Oh my god, now I gotta maneuver my way out, but I guess I can just go ahead and just talk. Uh, it was like a- it was like a two-door, um, uh, Honda Civic. So I was, so I called the guy and we were just like chatting. I was asking him like, uh, before we make a deal to go ahead and get like inspected by the, the mechanic. Um, one that, uh, I really trusted. There's the same one that told me my car was on the fritz and didn't even charge me anything for putting it up there. He was just like, no, good guy. I always go up to him. Good mechanic. Shout out to him. Um, so... Then I said, but then I was like, tell him where the mechanic is. And he's like, yeah, I live in St. John's. I don't live where you live. I'm like, oh, shit. I was like, well, that's very unfortunate because it was a really good car. It was a two door, but you know, I could probably like make do with it. So then I like called my dad back. I was like, yeah, so you know about that car, that, that, that Civic? Yeah, he, he lives all the way in fucking St. John's, so that was a big effing chat. So then it was back to the drawing board. And then back in June, I finally got my, um... My, um... I can't even remember what my car's name is. Uh, Chevy. It's a Chevy. Um, wait, what am I doing here? The fuck is my car called again? Jesus Christ! No, it's not that. Fuck, I can't. It's to that point where my where I don't even remember what my car car's name is. Um, it's not a cruise. It's like 2000. It's like a 2011 model or 2010 model. Avio, Chevy Avio, there we go. 
that's what it was called. It was called a Chevy Aveo. Wait, did I heal? I didn't- I healed, right? Jeez, oh, I can't even remember what the fuck I'm at these days. I healed, perfect. Okay, so I got a Chevy Aveo, like, last June from the mechanic. Um, so I had to, like, drive two hours to get it, and I finally got it. It was, like, three grand, um, in decent shape, but I did have a few problems with it. Um, and I actually kind of still have a few problems with it, but it's not really, like, game-breaking problems. I did have to take it to the mechanic, like, a couple months ago because, uh, the engine light was on. So... I went ahead and did that, and there, there was something wrong with it. I can't remember what else was wrong with it. But I remember back in August, I had to take my car to the mechanic because there was like... I was out for a drive with my friend, and then the hood started smoking. And... After doing a bit of checking, we concluded that there wasn't, there was either like not enough coolant or, or um, we were, it was low on oil. So after going go, after we went to Canadian Tire, I'm Canadian. I can make Canadian jokes. It's not Canadian Asian. It's just a different term for Canadian. Actually, no friend of mine said that like a long time ago. I wonder how he's doing these days. I remember like, I remember like. When I first got Twitter, I, like, met, like, a bunch of friends. Those were the days, man. And then, um... Well, it was because my brother had Twitter, and then he, like, introduced me. He was like, get Twitter, we can, like, get into a fucking, um, YouTube tournament. I was like, okay, well, let's fucking go, and that's how I got into Twitter. That's, that's the story of how I got into Twitter. And then... And then I met, like... A bunch of people. Now they're all doing their own thing. You know. It is what it is. Sometimes that happens with uh, friends. But there's this one guy. Oh, okay. You you really want a tango, my guy. Oh. I'm not liking how this is going. Um, I do have dig, but I don't know if you have levitate. Honestly, you probably do have levitate. But remember I was in like um like a a Facebook Messenger call with the guy, and he was like, "So what's it like being in Canada?" I'm like, "Yeah." Oh, okay. Well, no, nope, we're good there. That was fun times. I miss those times. My brother ended up blocking him because he sent him a dick pic. Good times. I got a feeling you have Earthquake, but I'm just gonna go ahead and risk it for the Chocolate Biscuit. Everyone's just facing me! Alright. Oh, Jesus. Well, it doesn't really hurt. Isn't that a rock type move? That's not gonna do much damage. That's still a bit of damage though. I think I'm done with the stories. Actually, <laughs> actually, I just thought of a story. I, there's actually another story. Oh my lord. Okay. So, it was probably around like. I don't know, probably about like when I was still in high school, like, I don't know if I was like 15 or 16 or 17. It was like around those t those ages. I was with like a group of friends, um, one of them I'm not, like, like, a few of them I'm not friends with anymore. Okay, so there's like, there's this like one guy. He, he's a complete fucking idiot. And... I've actually gotten into a fight with him and... Back when I was 17, because he was talking shit about my brother and his girlfriend at the time. They like, he, they like, fucked in my cousin's bedroom. 
And I walked in there and it smelled of sex and he was like going around and then he started calling him a whale fucker and all this shit. And then just like being completely immature about the whole situation. He was saying like suck my dick bitch and all this shit to my brother while my brother was like confronting him. And he was like telling him to fuck off and shit. So we confronted him and he wanted to fight me. I didn't have beef. I didn't the like the 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 trauma, the drama was like not between me and him. It was between my brother, his girlfriend, and this guy. So like we started like fighting. It really wasn't fighting. Then like after the fight, he started like giving a sob story because of his because like how he was acting like this because his dad, who we like didn't even live with, didn't even know, just like died. And he was like crying all this shit and you know making excuses and all that shit. He lived with his he lived with his grandmother for all his life. So like, he, he, he was making excuses. So, we, we, we gave this guy so many chances to be friends with us. But every time he fucking like, blew it being an, in the, an idiot. So, I like, we were like talking, you know, just like, you know, chatting, all that other shit. And then like, I went ahead and do a meme. I, I pulled up a meme. I, I pulled up a meme. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up right now. Um, if you guys, I'm giving you guys like um a warning. If you want to like skip off, I'm gonna like leave it right here. Uh, it was okay. Where's that joke? Okay. Okay, I apologize, but this this is 17 year old. This is like young Mason. I pulled up this meme. This meme, and I was con- I just like, dropped it, I was like, ah, I think this will be funny. I'm gonna get cancelled for this, but like, just- just chill with me for a minute. I love black people. But, I dropped that meme, and then like, that dude who was being an idiot just started like, accusing me of being racist, like, racism, like, how is that being racist? I'm dropping the meme, sure it's saying the n-word, but like, it's- it's- it's a meme, like, come on man, like, chill out. And so, like, we were, like, I was, like, getting if I was, like, you're a fucking idiot, man. And he's, like, you're a racist. You do, do you do. I'm, like, I'm not racist. Fuck off, my guy. I, I literally can't even, he can't even talk. Like, if, like, I found out, I found out, like, two summers ago that the same dude sexually molested my, uh, my friend. Well, sexually assaulted, whatever. Like, so the context of it is... Is that um my my friend? I'm not friends with her since like last summer, and him. They were like come back from a party, and I think he was like a legal adult at the time. I don't fucking know. And probably not. I don't know. He was um they they, they he was like walking her home, and they like sat down and just they sat down at, the, at like a, a bench or something. And then he started like feeling her up and she was telling him no and he kept doing it. And I didn't find out till like two summers ago. And I'm just like, okay, if I see this dude, I wanna fucking stab him because no one should be able to do that to anyone. And since like he was also she was also like my friend, and she was like in defense and saying, no, don't he doesn't need to be stabbed. Okay, and here's the funny thing. Now normally I would hate the dude even more. But here's the fucking thing. She keeps talking to him. And I'm just like... And she keeps like talking on Snapchat, inviting him over, like hanging out, all this other shit. I'm just like... Why did you do that after everything he done to you? And she said, because it's funny. I'm like... Like... I, I, I just... And then like, I was just like, are you fucking kidding me? And... And okay, so... Then in, I don't know, fucking March? April? I don't know. My friend, he uh, came out from like, he came out for like the weekend or something. And he was staying with his sister. All four of us decided to go to the club. Just like, on like a weekday. It was like really chill. <laughs> the bartender was like, eh. we, we had our masks on because we were like, going to the, going to like the club. And we're just like, so how is it the, the thing with the masks do? And also, bear in mind, before the Omicron variant, like, before, like, Christmas, 
We barely had any COVID cases in Newfoundland, and now all of a sudden we have more. Oh shit, no, I want to heal my Pokemon. So, we walked in there, there was like not a whole lot of people, they all were wearing their masks, and the bartender, he was like, you guys don't have to wear your mask if you don't want to. So like, we took it off, then we played pool, and my friend snapped that she was at the bar, and then the fucking dude was like, Maybe I might drop up for a bit. I'm just like, and we're just, and me and my brother and my other friend who came in, we're all just like, are you fucking kidding me? So we weren't down with him just like inviting himself to just come in. So anyway, he, he drove up, he came in and then we like had like a round of pool, you know, we were being civil. Oh, for fuck's sakes. All right. There's a bit of a glitch right here. Okay. There's a bit of, fuck. Okay, I gotta do this. I'm gonna try to see if I can do the sequence breaking. Because I seen, I don't know, Game Freak might have patched it out. Because, like, there's, like, a way you can, um, like. Ah, uh, no. There's, like, a way you can. There's, there's, there's a way you can get up there. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to do all this shit, aren't I? Great. I hate this puzzle. I literally hate this puzzle just because the snow is just complete and utter crap. Uh, so, I bet you guys are t asking uh, for me to continue the story, and I will while I try to figure out this puzzle that requires legit a lot of thinking. So, after he leaves, she, like, thanked us for being civil because, like, the thing is, she talked to him, and she knew that we didn't like him. So, anyway... I'm starting to question how I even became friends with her, anyway. Because, like, we met- we, like, were friends in, like, high school, too, so, like... You know... History. I don't know, that was, like, my brother's reasoning for still being friends with her. And, like, they were, like, best friends, and now, like, I don't know anymore. So, what happened, um, I probably, like, said this story a few times. Um, okay, I need, like, to go this away. Okay, so what happened to, that made us not be friends anymore was, um, okay, Okay, I, I just need to like go back to like and tell like another story. Um, okay, I think I cleared the path now. No, I didn't. No, I fucking didn't. There we go. Ah, uh, fuck this puzzle, man. I know I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so. We were, we were going to go camping last summer, and she was like, alright, we invite like a few people, so she invited my friend, the one that came down to the club. I'm leaving names out of this. So, so like, we, we all like, uh, rented, um, campsites. Uh, she was going to go with this one guy, because they were also like, my friend, because they were like fuck buddies as well. My brother was gonna, was gonna like, um, my brother invited this, this one friend, they were gonna share rooms, um, she, she was like, okay, it's good, she's like, okay, we can have like, uh, invite, invite a lot of people, that will be nice, so like, people were telling me like, invite this like, one girl that I knew, I was like, um, I'll think about it, and, it was actually probably good that I didn't yet, because then like, the whole thing got cancelled anyway, because my friend, she was like, getting weird. Because we invited my friend and his girlfriend, and my friend was actually my, um, my, um, Mauer de Toten, uh, um, first time attempt video. So, he and his girlfriend, um, Justin invited them, and she got completely fucking weird with them going, and she was just like, getting weird, she was just getting moody, all this other stuff, and then 
they both start fighting. And she was just like, he was like confronting her saying like, what does she have against my friend Colby? And, and she was just like, saying like, oh, he seems like a fucking hard ass or something like that. Cause like, they went to like, they, they were like drinking at the beach. He doesn't, he, he used to drink, but he doesn't drink anymore because, um, well, he has like a, a liver disease where like, um, alcohol hits him more or something. So, so what happened is, okay, well, I'm gonna go switch back to Prometheus and burn your bitch ass. I keep getting distracted. I keep getting distracted and I hate it. So they were at a beach party. My friend Colby and his girlfriend, like a few others, and you know, he and his girlfriend, and they, they weren't feeling it up, and, and like, she like jokingly asked if he was going to leave, he's like, yeah, we're going to leave, and he just like left with her, definitely, they, they definitely went to go fuck though, <laughs> and, so then she just like, I, I don't know, ever since then she just thinks like, he's like a hard ass, or like, boring, lame, and all this other shit, and really, the answer is no, you're just, Retarded. And I don't know, she she never liked him much anyway. She would always get mad like last year because she moved in into the uh, city with us. Oh my god, of course. So she moved in here with us, not in our apartment, but she moved in the same town. And and she would always get mad whenever we hung out with my friend Coley, because he was also in here as well, doing a welding program. Are you for real? I should just use extreme speed. He was doing a welding program, and and he would like, you know, he he was kind of a bit sweaty about it. He was just like, okay, I gotta get, I gotta go ahead and get this stuff done. So like, he was like really taking it seriously, and. He would always leave every weekend just so he can try to seduce the, his girlfriend. He had plans, my guy. He had, he, this man had plans. So what happened next, um, well, we, we, we didn't get a chance to hang out with him as much. He would always get mad if me and my brother hung out with him. Me and him hung out like solo because my brother was like gone a lot back, back like last year. So we would like hang out, like we would just like go for a drive or have him over, go for a walk, go to the store. But like if my brother was with us, she would get pissy. And and I don't know. And the thing is we always hung out with her. But there was times where we like we would not really hang out with my friend Goldie. And uh, the only way I would like hang out with him is if I was playing on my Xbox. So yeah. So like, um, I'm really getting really off topic with like, the stories. So, anyway, she and my brother were arguing, she was being weird, so then my brother's just like, you know what, I, I don't think we should be friends anymore because we mean like this, so then we just stop being friends with her and shit. And now she has like a bunch of new friends and she's always at the club. <laughs> I don't know. Definitely wasn't a good um, person to be around with anyway. I always like felt like, eh, when I was around her. Like... I remember one time, like, last year, New Year's Eve, my brother uh, was gone for, for New Year's. He was away. And I was just like, here alone and she was like having she was like having a party I'm just like wow where's my invite bitch so yeah felt a little betrayed and whenever my brother was gone she only like asked to hang out like twice and even then when we like were in Tim's just like having a coffee or whatever we would like barely have like any conversation because normally well it's also because I'm, I'm weird I don't really know what to talk about to someone who doesn't really game. Or have like the same interests as me.
Me too, when I'm trying to tell the story that I've been trying to tell, like, all episode. Ugh. I'm trying to, like... Oh, Jesus Christ, you're quick. I'm trying to, like, get my, uh, thoughts back in process. Um... But yeah, I always felt weird when, like, it was just, like, I was, like, hanging out with her. It was kind of, like, fake, too, you know. That's actually a lot of people back in town. They're, like... Like, okay, well, my friend's there. Who, who like, lives here. She's, like, a few years younger than me. Um, she and my brother had a conversation. And it was, like... I feel like people... Like, the people in that town. Like, where I... Where I, like, spend the rest of my high school... My school life in. Um, they seemed, like... She said that... She seemed... They all seemed, like, fake and, like, out to get each other. And we're just like, yo, that is actually so true. So like, okay, um, okay, uh, let me just go back to my main story before I start talking about this other stuff. Okay, so, um, okay, while my brother and her were arguing, um, uh, he was like, saying like, oh, we do like, stuff for her, like, we go like, we go, we went to like, this like, one person's place to like, drink and stuff, and you know, my we're just like, we don't know, we like, barely know these guys, plus, uh, well, we know at least like three people, it was like, two, two other friends, and someone I graduated, uh, high school with, in the same class, oh, Jasmine's still there, and there was gonna be like, her, her boyfriend, like, a few, and like, a few others that we didn't know were coming, so... That was honestly like a big, big uh, shit in my pants kind of situation. Cause like she didn't tell us like anyone else was coming, and she was just like you know, chilling, um, doing all that shit, while me and my brother were just like being awkward. But I still like talked to some people because I was like I was like I was like somewhat I was like. So much drunk, and then like later on, I took a weed pill, and then like I was like, I'm like, I don't even know if I'm drunk or stoned right now. I'm probably a bit of both. And my brother was just like, you know, I don't know these guys. I'm like gonna just like you know chill right here and talk to people that I know. And she um, said like, oh, it's not my fault. You were like being being like weird and being a hermit and all that shit. I'm just like, wow, what a cunt move. Because like, my brother was like, we, we like go do things with you, but you don't like make compromises for us. And she's like, yeah, well, yada, 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 um, whatever and all that stuff. So then we just like cut ties and all that shit. She's actually very fucking spoiled, too. Like, her parents are paying for her college... Her dorm. I think they were also paying for her rent when she booked, when she rented an apartment last year. Like... Like... She sent... She sent my brother, like, a list of things she got for Christmas, and... Like, she got a new... Um, I she got a new iPad, she got a MacBook, she got a bunch of other shit. Not to mention clothes, but she was just like listing- Wait, why the fuck do you have a palper? Yo, this is like- This is brain team. Okay. <laughs> Alright. You know, not gonna question it. Just gonna go with it. And that's why you did it, huh? Alright. I'll see. Uh, so, after all that, you have guts. Okay. So, after, like, I totaled a bunch of stuff, it, like, was probably over two grand that her parents bought for her. Also, also last summer, her, uh, wait, what did I use? What failed? I am so confused. What the fuck just happened? Yeah, her parents bought her a brand new fucking car last summer. 
And, you know, she was just like, uh, she just used to, like, having her parents spoil her and her getting thrown away and all this jazz, so. Here me and my brother are just like, I got Waft Maker. <laughs> That's all I can say. That's like the highlight of my uh, Christmas. I just got Waft Maker. And your snow boots. New winter boots. That's actually pretty sick, because I always had these like big ass, weird ass boots. Ever since I was like, I don't know, like 15 or something. Needs new shit. Anyway, moral of the story is we don't chill anymore. But there was this one time where uh, my brother wanted to go to the club and, you know, I wasn't really feeling it. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just be DD. You, you give me a call and pick me up and I'll come pick you up and all this shit. So, like, I dropped him off to, um, I dropped him off to, um, wherever the fuck he wanted, wherever he wanted to go. And then, like, a few hours later, he, like, calls. He's, like, very fucking drunk, too. The drunkest I've, I've, I haven't, the drunkest I've seen, I haven't seen him in a long time. The drunkest I've seen in a long time. I think that's how it works. I'm so bad at English. So, then, like, she was, my, my our ex-friend was also there. And they're, like, talking, and then, like... I don't know. Then my brother got into my car. But then, like, she also got in my car, like, without permission, got into the back scene and was like, Oh my god, Mason, how how are you? It's been so long. You know, all this, like, fake bitch shit. And we're just like uh, I was like, you know, I'm I'm doing I'm doing alright, you know, yada yada yada, college, this and that. And then when she left, Justin got back in the back in the front seat. He was like Talking with her is so fucking awkward, I'm like, yeah, I'm also very uncomfortable, too. And then, like, they- she started, like, talking to her- he, she started talking to him again, and, like, telling her about, like, problems, and he was like, we're not friends anymore, don't you have any- we, 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 we're not friends anymore, like, don't you have other people to talk to? He's like, well, since you- since you started, like, saying things about your life, I thought that I could do the same, but, oh, well, whatever, I guess. Very interesting. I think she's back in town. I... I don't know. I haven't seen her. In a while. But back to my story... Back to... Okay, so that's the end of that story. Why I'm not friends with her again. Um... So... Okay. There's another story. And it ties with, uh, people in my whole town. Like... The people around my age just like seem like they're out to get everyone and try to stab each other in the back. So I was out for a drive with with uh, me, my brother, Colby, and his girlfriend, and he gets a call from um, this one guy who we graduated high school with. He was like, "Oh, uh, well, I was ha he was like saying like he was having a party and she's like, you know, if you wanted to drop by and all this shit, like that'd be cool." And he's like, "Well." Well, I would, but I got, uh, I got Justin Mason. The, I'm, I'm also with, uh, Justin Mason. like, yeah, bring them too. And so, we stopped by. We, like, we, like, uh, hopped in. And it was just, like, him. And he was like, yeah, I was having a, I, uh, was having a party here, but, you know, doesn't seem like anyone was showing up. And it was also, like, I don't know, around, like, like, 10 or 11. So if anyone, so people were supposed to show up, but they didn't. So that was a bit oof. So he was just like, you know, offered us beers and like, then like after a bit, he was just like, you know, I haven't talked to you guys in a, in a long ass time. Like, of course, talking to me and Justin. So then he was like, you know, how's it going and all that shit, you know. It's also one of the dudes I never really had much problems with. So, like, I was, like, telling him, like, you know, I'm going back to college to boost up my grades so I can, uh, get accepted into, um, software. And he's, like, oh, yeah, that's, that'd be a deadly program for you to do and all this shit, shit, you know. Then, like, a bunch of other people just started showing up. And it was, like, all girls, like, around, like, his age, too. 
And, like, we could just, like, tell, like, me, Justin Colby, I think his girlfriend, and, like, these two other guys, other guys, well, they're actually engaged. Like, people younger than me are engaged. And I'm just like, what? These guys are engaged, and I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I'm just gonna sack Tails off just so I can uh, revive um, Conan. So like, we got the impression that like some of the people there were looking at us and were just like, "What the fuck are they doing in here?" So then it was like a, a bit after that, we were like, Justin was talking to her, and she was like, "I got this feeling that like people in this town." are out to get each other and like stab each other in the back and all this shit and we're just like yes because like oh my god that town that town has some of the f most weirdest fucking people like i had fucking like a full-blown discussion with my brother like like that night okay <laughs> okay another story okay we finally beaten all the gym leaders rematched thank god um, I got another story. Um, okay, so like, uh, okay, it was like beginning of the, it was like the beginning of this month. Um, my brother saw like a mouse a couple times, and we tried to like you know do something about it. Um, that failed. Um, so then I'm trying to go. So like I'm like in bed that night, the second time my brother sees a mouse, and then like I just hear moving across my bed, like on like from my bed to like somewhere else. I'm just like. Then I heard it move again, and then I hear it scratching. And it was almost three in the fucking morning. So then I like called my brother and I just like hopped in my bed. I, I hopped into the same bed as him. And we're just like chatting. Then like we start chatting about like how the fucking people in our in my in the town are like Like I spent like ten years in. We're just like I have to get each other. Like cause that's when he brought that up with me. So then I was just like chatting with him about it. And we're just saying, like, how, like, the people there, like, they all have to be, like, the same person. Or something like that. And we're just like, you know. <sighs> Loki kind of fucked. Honestly. Like, ugh. Also, I found out my cousin, who just got into university. She, she's, like, going out there every weekend now. And, we're and like, she didn't have a good, I don't know, she doesn't have, like, a good home situation. Like, her parents are always on her case and all this shit. Probably a bunch of, like, other stuff, too, that I don't know about. But, like, we thought, like, just based on that, like, she wasn't going to be, like, out there. But she still visits every weekend. And then we found out, like, she's, like, seen a guy who's, like, twice her age. I'm just, like... This actually happened uh, a couple summer. Like, I, I think this actually happened a couple summers ago, too. Like, like the thing is, she is... She, she she just turned 18, like, last June or July or something. So, she was, like, still, like, a, a, a fucking, like, kid, like, an adolescent. She was, like, 16, 17. And she was hanging out with, like, a guy in his late 20s. And, like, of course it got around town because the town's fucking small as shit. And then, like, everyone started to find out. Her parents got, like, understandably pissed at her. I think my my uncle, I think like, threatened him to like leave her alone or else like, shit's about to get real. And I don't know. I I just I just literally don't have respect for people like some of the people in the town anymore. Of course, like, I have respect for some people like my friend. His girlfriend's pretty cool and like a few others, but like, hell no. That town just sucks. Well, I guess in the next episode, guys, we're going to go ahead and rematch the Elite Four. Uh, sorry that I was off on a bit of a tangent today, guys. It was kind of like <laughs> story time. This episode was just full of stories. But with that being said, guys, next episode, we're going to go ahead and take on the Elite Four. Um, and possibly after that, take on the Champion. So if I get through the Elite Four, if I go ahead and get... If, it depends on how long it takes to get rid of all the Elite Four members and then Cynthia... Next episode might be the finale of the series. Shit. 
I do want to get this series done and over with before Legend of Ar Arceus comes out because I want to go ahead and play that day one. And that comes out in like the 28th, and we're actually getting pretty close to that date. So, with that being said, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. My brother just came online. I wonder when he's coming home today, because he's gone for the weekend. I'll see you next time. Peace.